Hey guys and welcome to my world. Thanks for tuning in. Now, Halloween's upon us and I'm here to talk to you today about my top five picks if you're going to have a ha Halloween movie night. Because I know if you're cool like me, you're going to be sat in watching scary films. Let's get to it. First up on my list. Versus God. Nancy. Hello, Nancy. Here's your prime time, bitch. The Nightmare on Elm Street. Recommend number one or three because they're my favourites, especially three. Dream Warriors is yes. I guess today's yes. generation standards, it can be these can be uh, classified as cheesy, a bit dated, but Robert Englund as Freddy Krueger, my favourite horror icon, kills it. He absolutely kills it. Excuse the pun. But yeah. But if you don't like dated films and you can't stand them, like, sit through them and whatnot, highly recommend watching the remake. Wasn't a big fan of this when I first saw it, but I rewatched it yesterday. And, well, how's this for a wet dream? You know what I'm saying? Freddy's not as good, but it's a bit more darker. It's more scarier than the original. So, yeah, it's a bit grittier. Recommend that if you want. More scares instead of laughs. Nightmare Next on Elm up on my list, we're going to be Sinister. Watching Sinister. Now, this film is creepy. I mean, from the opening scene, from the very get-go, you can you know what you're in for. Like, wow. I mean, the stuff of nightmares. I mean, this film, this film is sinister. Yeah, it's, it is genuinely terrifying. I mean... It's made by the producers of uh, Paranormal Activity and Insidious. Not a fan of Paranormal Activity, but Insidious is good. So, recommend giving Next that up a on watch my list if you like. Is not a well known film. It follows. So, I've seen this twice now. First we time I watched it, I was out. With my I mean, we were backing up against the wall, just like, oh, goosebumps. It's, be it's behind you! It's Proper behind creepy, you! Like, giving us goosebumps. Like a pantomime we were. Yeah. I mean, not a well-known film. It's a bit underrated, but it is creepy. I mean, it. you're just watching it and you're like, weirded out. Not really scary, but yeah, highly recommend giving so that a watch. So what does my next pick and Shrek have in common, you ask? Well, obviously, Michael Myers. Yeah, my next pick is Halloween, John Carpenter's The Original, starring Jamie Lee Curtis. So yeah, if you're looking it. for a classic slasher film with great suspense, great thrills, and an enjoyable ride, highly recommend that. Same with Nightmare on Elm Street though. If you're not looking if you're not looking for dated films and you don't enjoy dated films, then I would highly recommend watching the Rob Zombie remake. Another great remake. Of a slasher film. Next up on my that. list, The Curse of now, Chucky. If you like the Child's Play franchise, you will really, really like this film. I mean, it is gory, it is scary. Chucky it is, is back. Funny. Brad Dourif reprising the role. Spectacular show. Concludes the whole story from beginning, from the first Child's Play. So, as long as you've seen them or know what it's about, you could probably watch this without watching the others. Highly recommend it. It is hugely, hugely worth a watch. So yeah, guys, they're my top five picks for a Halloween movie night. If you like them, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll get more videos to you soon. I'm also going to be doing a top five Netflix choices for Halloween, top five Amazon Prime choices for Halloween, and a family-friendly movie night choices for Halloween. See you later, guys. I Have told you this time. before, Predator. I'm the only Predator here. <laughs> No! God damn it, zombie! We're trying to shoot a film! Uh.